So I actually had this past Friday off, which happened to be Black Friday. And usually I don't go shopping on Black Friday. Um, but I did go shopping and I went to my usual stomping grounds of Rodeo Drive, where I like to do most of my shopping anyways. And um, Rodeo Drive actually wasn't that busy. Um, it, it had people there, your usual tourists. Um, I think the only place that was a madhouse was Barney's. Um, Barney's uh, started their like 40% off, 50% off sale recently. And um, the whole men's shoe department looked like a zoo it was insane and then the women's shoe department was insane it was crazy um guys were holding on to like five six pairs of shoes to have sales associates pull the size for them and things like that and um what else was i gonna say yeah so it was just crazy um i picked up a pair of shoes from giuseppe zanotti i don't own any shoes from giuseppe zanotti until today and i'm gonna be sharing those with you guys today and a uh, side note, I feel really, really young without facial hair now. Um, I recently shaved it. Yesterday I shaved it um, because I have a really big meeting coming up and I want to be clean and presentable for it. And um, so that's why I'm missing my facial hair in this video. Um, I promise you'll be back. I've actually grown to love the facial hair and now I feel kind of naked without it. So um, <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started with this whole unboxing situation. The shopping bags look like this. I got a pretty huge one. It's probably not going to fit into the frame of the camera. It says the website right here. The signature Giuseppe logo. Um, pretty nice thick paper bag. I mean, um, I know we don't buy shoes for the shopping bags, but if anyone's curious, that's what they look like. Now let me go ahead and reveal the shoes I picked up. They came in a box like this to say Giuseppe Ohm, um, which is... Giuseppe guy, Giuseppe men, um, and then you have the style of the shoe right here, which is the Kevin, and it is a loafer. I wear a size 42. Just about all European shoes, I wear a size 42. Um, usually, yeah, 42 overall, and then maybe for like dress shoes, it's 41 and a half. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what the inside looks like. You get your Giuseppe tissue paper, if I can undo this properly and you get the stunning Giuseppe dust bag now I have to show you these because these dust bags are like a work of art um, very high reflective satin material and they have the Giuseppe logo right here on the corner um, and then it has a pull string with metal tips at the end of them Really, really nice, well thought out dust bag, but let's go ahead and set that aside. I was gonna get sneakers from Giuseppe as my first pair of shoes from him, but um, I'm just not, like, I like the sneakers I have now, but I don't wear sneakers that often, and I don't maximize my use and my wear with sneakers. So when um, I wanted to get a shoe, I know I would wear the hell out of, and this is why I picked up the Kevins. So, let me go ahead and pull these up at the camera for you. So, here they are, my Hugh Hefner shoes. Um, these are the Giuseppe Kevins. I will go ahead and hold them up back here so you can see them. Um, I am in love with these shoes. I love that they have, like, a croc embossing. It's like a croc embossing with, like, what feels like a felt, velvety, slightly calf hair material. And there's actually a reflective sheen to the entire shoe and the, um, the texture on the embossing. You have your chrome metallic uh, silver hardware tassels right here. The bottom of the shoes, I already tried them on so um, you might see some wear on them. They have Giuseppe's logos right here. And I love the clean, clean Giuseppe logoing in the inside of the shoe. Now, the heel height on these is a very low heel height. These shoes are extremely comfortable to wear. Um, my Louboutin Dandelions are a much more structured loafer, um, but they also hurt a little bit. They don't hurt, but you you know you're wearing a Louboutin shoe. This one, if it's a comfortable shoe. Um, it's a very flat sole, but it is a, it's a very, very comfortable shoe. Um, the aesthetic and the overall look of these shoes is just absolutely stunning. Um, 
I wanted a pair of loafers that I could wear with denims. I tried on two pairs of them. I was really close to getting the other pair besides this one. But the other pair was too safe. Um, so I wanted my first pair of Giuseppe's to be not funky, but you know, I wanted it to be very signature to the Giuseppe Zanotti design and aesthetic. So um, I decided to go with these ones and I'm in absolute love with them. Um, I'm pretty sure I would pick up sneakers in the future, but by the comfort and looks of this, I think I'm going to be picking up more Giuseppe loafers in the future just because I wanted a pair of shoes that um, could go with dark denims. Like I could wear this easily with a pair of dark denims and a white button-up shirt or a pair of dark denims and a black button-up shirt, you know. I really wanted a nice loafer that I could dress up and dress down. And I could even wear this with a full-on suit or really nice tailored pants and a blazer and maybe like a really dark burgundy dress shirt. I mean, my mind is going crazy with what I could style these shoes with. So I'm really excited to wear these. I do plan to wear these for the meeting I have to go to. And um, these are the perfect holiday shoe. I mean, they're very festive, they're very fun. They're very clean, very dapper, but you know, they are just, they are conversation starters. And I feel like a good pair of shoes should be a conversation starter. So I'm in absolute love with these. And um, I guess I could show them one more time holding them up. These are them right here. And I will go ahead and insert a on foot clip right now of me wearing the shoes, kind of me wrapping up this video. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for everything. I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Obviously, I'm late on that. So I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving if you do live here in America. And um, I just want to say thank you to everyone that was so kind and supportive of my last video that I did with Sonia. Um, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm going through a weird transition on YouTube right now where I'm just trying to do videos that I love and make me happy. You know, I, uh, someone I really respect and admire here on YouTube is Lisa from Lisa Lisa D1. And um, I really love that her videos are, it's just like, they're just, it's like a conversation. It's like you're sitting down with her and talking to her the entire time you're watching her videos. And um, I like that she incorporates beauty and fashion with everyone. And um, I think she does it so beautifully and just so clean and nice. And I really hope I could get my channel to that same setting within time because um, I kind of want this to be a happy place for guys and girls. I want guys to watch the videos for style inspiration and how to maybe take better care of their appearance. And I want girls to watch it because they love makeup and they want to get ideas of what to get their boyfriends. Um, so you know that's kind of what I hope and wish for. Uh, but I'm just doing what makes me happy on this channel now and that's really beauty and fashion. So I thank you guys so much for your support as always. And um, you guys know you could catch me very actively on Instagram. That's where I am 99% of the time when I'm missing from action here on YouTube. So thank you guys so, so much for just everything. Happy holidays. And if you have any questions about these shoes, leave them down in the comments below. And as I always say, until next video, I will see you guys then.